All right, today we're going to work on taking the bumper off. So let me find a spot for you. How about right there? Well, I don't know, it's going to rain. Let's do that. Okay. So I think I'm going to try to use my cherry picker. So hold on. So I don't think that uh, bumper is very heavy. So I think we'll just try to do it with it off the, without putting the legs out on the lift. So I think that's how I'm going to lift it. Now let me get my air tools out and we'll see if we can get it off there. Alright. You see the bolts there? Two on each side. Let's see what size they are. Looks like that side's three quarter. Looks like I'm going to have to have a socket on both sides, so let me go get another wrench. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I got it from Troy. Here we go. So it's sitting on the equalizer hitch. So I jacked it up a little bit. It's off. Now you can see the hitch. I think I'll take that off next. Because I don't think we're going to need it. I might be able to convert that to work on a trailer. The way that's built. But there's the bumper now. I think I am going to try to rebuild this bumper. Just put a new top on it. And... Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to put a new top on it. Okay, let me see what it takes to get that apart down there. Okay, so I remember putting this on here years and years ago. And you see those big spacers right here? Those were uh, to make it clear the bottom of the bumper. But uh, I think it looks like they're uh, looks like they're carriage bolts. So I might be able to just zip those off. So let's let's give it a try.
So it looks like I've got to go get a extension to get to that one. So hang on. See if that helps catch it. Let's see what we can do with this other side. Looks like the camera got kicked around. It's, oh, look at that. Can you see that? That, uh, that had a custom bolt put in there. That's kind of cool. I can't remember. I may have had to uh, There we go. I may have had to uh, grind a rivet off right there. But I think that was the other reason for the spacers was to clear this rivet. So when I have the frame apart, oh, maybe we're okay. I might even have to drill a hole. I can't remember now. I just remember the spacers. But here you go. The rear bumper is off. A little closer to taking the bed off. So, I don't know. Let's look here. I don't know if you can see that, but this is one of those fiberglass patches I was telling you about. When I get it off, I'll show you. You can see the hole over here and the issues I've got here. I think I'll wait till I got it upside down. Here you can see the, that's a piece of fiberglass. So, I'll show you when I've got it upside down. But, you got to do a lot of tear down before you can start making them pretty again. Till next time.